Yeah, so good morning, y'all. <clears throat> Hope y'all are uh, having a good Sunday morning, Saturday morning, if you're up. Just wanted to uh, do a little video about uh, one of many 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 unsung heroes as far as black history accomplishments this this man here featured in his picture is uh he goes by the name he went well he went by the name of Tom Lee now what makes him such a remarkable figure especially during the Jim Crow era at the height of the Jim Crow era he uh, witnessed this steamboat capsizing and he sprung into action rescuing 32 32 passengers on this steamboat and they were all uh, they all were for the Corps of Engineers uh, the Memphis Engineers Club and another uh, organization and with them being engineers back in 1925 I'm already knowing they were I'm 100% that they were um, non-blacks, non-melanated. So for, for this man to spring to action like that, not knowing how to swim, mind you. And he went and got a, uh, a smaller boat, a small motorboat. And, and made like five trips back and forth to this capsized steamboat to save as many people, as many passengers as he could. Well, I'll just, I, all I had to say is he's a good one. He's a good one, especially back then, back in 1925. You know, putting his own safety at risk to uh, to come to the rescue of all these. I'm sure uh, well healed, well off engineers. Yeah, he he's uh he most definitely one that's not talked about enough in my opinion um, I guess because maybe he didn't start a, he wasn't part of a big movement or anything like that for example the civil rights movement, movement he just went out and acted on acted with emergence to uh, to, to uh, rescue people rescue some people doing a good deed so my head's off my head's off to this guy and uh, he now uh, now the engineers club of Memphis did raise some money to uh, purchase him and his wife a home so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. He did this at the age of... He was 39 years old. He was 39 years old in this pick, I believe. I know he was 39 years old when he... When he... Uh, 
made their rescue, made their rescue. And uh, so he said 32 people and 20, they say 23 people died. So they had to be close to 60 people on this uh, boat here, on that steamboat. So mad kudos to him. And if there are any uh, descendants that are living that are his, kudos to them. And uh, so they named a park on the Mississippi River after him as well in his honor. You know, some of you all may know this already. No. Or, or if you visited Memphis or you're from Memphis, you already know. But some people that have never been to Memphis or this may be new to them. New to them, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so they, so um, well, they had a mark. So they, there was this marker down there in his honor. It was a grant, one of those granite granite markers. It's no longer there due to them making improvements to the riverfront and so on and so on. They're making, doing, uh, they got a big project going on down in there. So, so the mark is no longer there. But I remember going down there and reading the mark and they referred to him as a, and I quote, a very worthy Negro. A very worthy Negro. He saved 32 people's lives on the river from a capsized steamboat. And that's the best they could come up with? A very worthy Negro? Well, I, well, I guess I shouldn't be too, <clears throat> too shocked about that because it, it was, after all, 1925. I mean, come on. But still, in retrospect, you looking at that like, wow, why couldn't they just, they couldn't refer to him as a very worthy man, you know? They didn't want, they just hurt them that bad. It was just too much at that time to refer to him as a man. And that's the time that they were living in back then, Jim Crow era. Too much like right to refer to him as a man. Yeah, but when, but when I saw that uh, several years ago, I was like, wow. So who knows? They might put the marker back up when they done making improvements. So who knows? All right. That's all I have for right now for this Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. Yeah, it's the shortest month of the year, but what can you do? It is what it is. Make the most of it. Make the most out of it, I guess. So, All right, y'all. Uh, have a good weekend and Black Power. Peace out.